for flowers on our patio. And it's going to be pretty. Right? It will be. Okay. When you get done, it sure will. Whoa, you get done. No. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, I've got a little tip for you. A little piece of advice for all of you men out there. When your wife comes up with an idea and she wants to do something, sometimes you just have to say, yes dear. Look at all this. <laughs> you guys know my wife is not a gardener. She does not like the garden. She does not like the greenhouse. She loves eating the vegetables. But a while back she decided we needed a splash of color for our new patio. So she thought, I want a couple pots to go on the patio with some plants. Well, so the natural thing to do was to go talk to Leon from Gardening with Leon, you know, our friend. And she said, Leon, I need a couple pots. Well, guess what, honey? Leon did not fix you up with a couple pots. Nope. We've got a truckload and a suburban load of plants and pots. And I don't know how much um, color, how much of a pop of color we need on our patio. Woman, how much of a pop of color do we need on our patio? I was really just wanting some. Just like, some. Like two big pots? Ish. Yeah. So we're up to like 10. Yeah. And we've got a lot of work to do. But Leon hooked us up with more stuff for the self-wicking tubs. So you guys have seen me build these and put them to use in the greenhouse and the high tunnel. Leon builds thousands of these things and grows everything in them. So today, we're going to be using them for flowers on our patio. And it's going to be pretty. Right? It will be. Okay. When you get done, it sure will. Whoa, you get done. No. I'm going to make you walk backwards, but you better not trip. Don't fall off the porch. Oh, yeah? You're creating a lot of work. Oh, well. Makes for good content. Yeah. Yeah. So we're using a couple different tubs. My wife got these really bright yellow ones from Leon because she thought they would mix well with her flowers. But the game plan is to use those yellow tubs and then we're going to put like some trailing vines in them so that the vines drape over. But she also got some really pretty pots. And we're able to use these as self-wicking pots because they don't have a hole in the bottom. See, they're solid on the bottom. And these are just plastic. Originally came from Walmart. Uh, they kind of, they're made to look like the terracotta or, okay. or ceramic, whatever kind of pots. Uh, but most of those have holes in the bottom. And if you want to make a self-wicking tub out of them, that just won't work. So when we build the self-wicking tubs, we put a, we drill one hole five inches up on the side. And we'll do the same on these. We'll come inside and drill a hole. That way we can hold water at the bottom. And what we have to put in the bottom of these is just another pot, a plastic pot. We'll put it in just like this. And then we'll put a piece of um, landscape fabric over the top so the soil can't get that in there. And that will give us our water reservoir and our airspace, just like in the mineral tubs. It was because RJV was playing. What? Yeah. This is supposed to be her project, Sorry, but every five seconds she's she's got her little Apple watch on. She thinks she's cool. It's like Star Trek. <laughs> Captain's log. She's like wife's log. May 29th, 2019, 4.30 p.m. I got the husband to uh, get outside and plant flowers for me while I talked on the phone. That's it. End of Captain's log. Shut up. Leave me alone. What's up, Bella? What are you doing, girl? What are you doing, Bella? Got the whole crew out here. No kids, just dogs. Kids don't seem to help very much. Uh, but again, again, neither do the dogs. So we got our two pop in the uh, plastic tub here. And then we drilled one hole five inches up from the bottom. And those two pipe in there are gonna allow us to have a little air space above that water reservoir. Cause these are six inches tall and the hole is five inches. So that gives you one inch of air space. And my lovely assistant is going to cover those with our landscape fabric. Just And all this does is keep the soil from filling in the pipe. So we're just creating like a, 
like a basket to hold the soil and you can see she's pushing the, the uh, landscape fabric down around the pot and that will allow that soil to wick the moisture up I'm just not real sure about her form though seems kind of rough on the back right there I don't know are you sure that's how you're supposed to supposed to do that shouldn't you squat at the knees why do I need to squat <laughs> So we got our soil in. Golly, you guys are crooked. Why didn't y'all tell me? Got our soil about two thirds of the way full. We're gonna use a half a cup of Sustain fertilizer, which is 464, kind of a slow release organic granular. And then, like Leon always uses, the sea mineral, evaporated sea mineral, gives the uh, plants lots of trace minerals. So we're gonna use a quarter cup of this, about a half a cup of this. No measuring spoons, we're just gonna do it. It is not cat litter. That's good. So we got these two tubs ready to go. The one thing I don't have is my PVC pipe that we use to fill the water reservoir, but I'll just leave the landscape fabric sticking up a little bit and that'll allow me to slide it down in here because as usual, I'm out of PVC pipe. So what are you gonna put in these two, woman? Okay, so make up your mind, let's see. This one's going in here. What is that one? Hmm, what'd you ask him that for? Let's find the deal. Oh no. Oh, well. We don't have a tag. So we got some tall plants. This one's a braided hibiscus, as you can see. And I ought to know what that's called, but I cannot remember for the life of me. But look at those pretty, pretty little blossoms. The yellow inside the flower should go good in your yellow tubs. That's right. I was thinking ahead. As much as I enjoy looking at your hiney, I don't oh. know if everybody else does. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. That's what Emily says. Remember the other day when Leon said, you don't ever tell a woman what she wants? I told him just to tell me. I, 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 he just needs I to I just got to show you what the, you want in there. I mean, we can, let's walk a little more. Okay. Let's, let's, let's walk, walk just a little bit more, okay? Let's walk. You're the expert. Okay. Well, well. But he knows better than to tell a woman what she wants. There you go. Now you're talking. I do believe that was sound advice, but my woman Listen, I doesn't know what she I wants. I don't know. There's just so many options. Choices. I'm just going to have to go again. <laughs> oh, Bella, quit. I don't know if you're going to be able to fit that whole basket in there. Around? You know what? That's a lot of plant yeah. to put oh, in that okay. little pot. So. Well. If we don't need it all, we can put it in a different one. Right? We're going to break it apart. Yeah. Very careful. I'm always very careful. No, I don't know about it. I'm just teasing the roots apart. No. It takes special tools to get these root, bulls, root balls what? apart. Root balls? You know what I call them? <laughs> I call them man hands. Oh my God. You gotta have man hands to pull these root balls apart. So if you don't have man hands, you better find somebody to help your wife plant her flowers. I think you have sissy hands. That's why you're doing such a good job. Bella, I don't need you in the way, babe. Move, Bella. Looky there. Three parts. Do you want three or four? Let's go three. Well, we don't have to put all of it in the same pot. Oh, okay, perfect. That's a lot. Just cram it in, just cram it in. And we're gonna fill soil around it. So do you want some kind of other little flowers in there with it? Yes. All right yes. then. Let's see them. What are you gonna use? I don't know. I think I need like a medium height to go in there and I don't think I have one. What? Your, um... Oh, the pink? Yeah. You don't want white flowers with white flowers, do you? Well, I thought I did until you said that. I don't know what she wants. Bella, See, you move your it. tail. Tall enough? It will be. Babe, they'll get taller. Okay. I'm going to pull off the crappy, crappy leaves. How do I look, guys? See, I belong in a tropical forest. That's what I think. Don't you? I think you're trying to make a tropical forest. That's what I think. Possibly. Let's 
See, some people say form over function. I'm more of a function over form guy. I like my vegetables. I know what to grow in the garden. Out here with the flowers, I'm a little bit lost. But I'm not going to tell my wife that because she don't have a clue what she's doing either. <laughs> sure don't. Determined that I need more pots. <laughs> we knew that. Yeah. So I don't know what to call this. Do we call it a uh, a rain delay or an all natural first That's watering really, of our new pots? It's really dark. Well, I don't want to come out here in the rain. Oh. <laughs> so we're. Gone dog. I say we're suffering from a rain delay because uh, there's wet stuff falling from the sky, and that means my wife's not going to stand out there in it. No, I'm not a fan of rain. You look very tropical. Do I? It's because I'm tan. <laughs> Our little splash of color, um, as I said on Instagram a few minutes ago, has turned into, went from a splash of color on the patio to like a, a football field size canvas of color. But it's going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty. I admit it. So, she said so dirty. My wife doesn't like to get dirty. That's why she likes the beach, because the sand doesn't get her dirty. It just washes right off. And then she's like, ah. So the self-wicking tubs... Worked out great out here. Um, we're not real sure where we're gonna put them all yet, but as you can see, we've got a, a lot of real estate out here on the patio. So I can't argue with her on the number of tubs. We're actually probably gonna, I got a hair in my mouth. We're actually probably gonna have two, three more, maybe more, I'm not sure. Yeah. So I think the yellow pots turned out well to be just a, uh, a molasses cattle tub. But as you can see, the the theory anyways, we've got a tall plant with a chocolate lab hiding behind, but a, a big hibiscus and then some ornamental grasses and flowers and the vines will trail over. And as those fill in, they'll kind of hide the tub. But honestly, I think the tub looks looks really good. And then you got fancy pants here. She got these two really pretty tubs from Leon and uh, they'll fill in, put lots of stuff there. Then another yellow molasses tub. I'm not sure what that's called, but it'll vine down and hang over. I don't know what it's called either. So, oh yeah, see we've got to put that. That's going to go in a tub. We'll put this on a trellis. I think that's a bougainvillea. Pretty sure. Can't remember. That's a citronella plant because she thinks it's going to get rid of the mosquitoes. It might. That's what everyone down there said. You got to get it. You got to get it. So I got it. All right. So there you go. My hands smell like citronella now. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, it's lemony. <laughs> so Leon's self-wicking tubs will work great for flowers. He actually posted a video on them just the other day. I was watching one of his last videos. If you're not familiar with Leon by now, I don't know where you've been because I talk about him on my channel all the time. We go down and visit him. Leon is a great guy. Houston thinks he's his grandpa, <laughs> but uh, he's super helpful. So go check him out, Gardening with Leon. And if you're not familiar with the self-wicking tubs, you will learn all about them on his channel. This is not a concept I came up with, um, but it's a concept that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna steal other people's ideas and use them, not as my own, I'll give credit, because my uh, high school English teacher would call that, what, plagiarism? Yeah. If I was using their idea. Anyway, so self-working pots work great. Are you happy now? I am. So you're going back to Leon's tomorrow? Yep. More oh. flowers? Oh. Water, yeah. More flowers, more tubs. More flowers, more So, tubs. more to come. Anyways, guys, that's all we've got for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I just almost smashed my wife's toe. Yeah, he did. You guys have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Bella, you better stay out of the flowers. I better not catch you uh, playing in the flowers. You hear me? <laughs>